say. Hi everybody, this is Only Hamster Advice and Coconut, and I am so excited about today's video because it is going to be the hamster tag. And in case you didn't know, this tag video is just a video that's been going around YouTube, and it um, is usually on pet and hamster channels, but sometimes on other channels, just anybody who has a hamster. And um, basically, it just asks questions, not care like questions. It asks questions like about, like, how old were you when you got your first hamster? What was your first hamster like? What's your hamster's favorite treats? What's your cage like? Where do you keep your hamster? And there's 10 questions. And um, I was tagged in the comments of one of my videos by, I forget their name, so I'll put it right there. And um, even though I do not remember their channel name, I do remember that they have amazing videos. So be sure to check out their channel and check out their videos. And if you like their channel, be sure to subscribe. And I'm sorry for not making a video for two weeks. Um, it seems like I have to say this every video that I make, but um, the reason why I didn't make a video this time, or videos this time I guess, was because last weekend, or two weekends ago actually, it seems like it was only like last weekend, but yeah. So Saturday, June 9th, it was my birthday, and then the next day, which was Sunday, um, I had to do something, I forget what. And then all last week I had acting camp, which lasted all day, so I didn't have time to make any videos. And then um, last weekend we had a friend over, and um, I hardly ever get to see this friend. So, um, yeah, we basically played all weekend. But now um, I'm finally going to make this video. And um, I am going to be tagging everybody who's watching this video. So if you do want to do this tag video, it's 10 questions. And I will leave all the questions in the description below. So I hope that you'll do this tag video. So let's get started. Question number one. How old were you when you got your first hamster? I was 10 and I got her for Christmas. Question number two. What was the name of your first hamster and what was their species? Well, my first hamster was a girl. Her name was Jingle, and she was a cream cerarian. Question number three. What is your favorite species of hamster, and why? It, um, I've only had cerarians, but I think I'd have to say cerarians, because they do seem calm, and, um, I like kind of like a hamster that will cuddle, and Coco's totally not demonstrating that now, but normally... She's kind of hyper today, but normally she's really calm and she'll fall asleep on my lap as she has done in many videos. So yeah, cerarians for that reason. But all hamsters are adorable and I love all hamsters and I like to get any hamster, so all hamsters are good. Question number four, how many hamsters do you have and what are their names? I have one hamster and here she is, her name's Coconut. Question number five. What is your hamster's favorite treat? Well, um, Coco's? No, Coco, come here. It would definitely have to be carrots. So I'm going to give her one now to show how much she loves them. She'll literally stick the whole thing inside her pouch if I let her, but I won't because that's not fun to watch. She also really loves sunflower seeds, um, but that's not really a fresh food. And she prefers carrots over them. Question number six. What types of cages do you own? Well, um, Coco has her bin cage that my dad and I made. And then she also has all these ovo tubes and ovo pods and things. So she has the vent and then everything else is ovo. But um, we have more than this. We have more cages than this for ovo. It's just this is what's currently in our setup right now. Then there's question number seven, and that question says, are you thinking of getting any more small pets? The answer actually is yes, because I've been begging and begging and begging my mom to get me a winter white hamster, and she was like, oh, I just don't know, and then they got one at the library, and they called it a gerbil, and I'm like, no, that's a hamster, but... Um, and she saw how adorable it was. So then for what for one of my birthday presents, she gave me a little slip of paper and it said, um, 
you can get a Wendy Wright hamster if you want one, whenever you want, and we'll just take you to the store and we can get one. So, um, you'd, you'd expect me to say yes, I mean, because I really want one so bad, but I, I just don't know because I didn't really stop and think about it when I asked for one, but now that I did, now that, like, I got that note, um, I really stopped to think about it, so I don't know if I want a second hamster because, um, taking care of a hamster is very time consuming, even though it's, like, well worth it, it's just during the school year, I have so much homework that I don't think, um, I, I don't think that I'd have enough time, especially since I'm moving upgrades, so I'll probably have even more homework, but I just don't know if I'll have enough time to take care of two hamsters, so no, I'm not sure if I'm going to get a winter white, but yes, I'm thinking about it. Um, question number eight, where do you keep your hamsters? Well, normally Coco is upstairs inside the attic, but in very late um, spring and very early fall, she is, oh, and all throughout summer, she's down here in the dining room, which is kind of um, funny because we eat inside the dining room. Well, of course, but um, so we get to eat with a hamster, and sometimes she'll like beg me to play with her because she'll see me because my chair is right by her cage. She'll be like, play with me. I'm like, no, I'm eating dinner, coconut. <laughs> and she's down here during... Um, those parts of the months, because, or seasons, I guess, because, um, it gets really hot up in the attic, like, it's perfect, it's perfect during winter, because it's, um, kind of warm up there, like, it's perfect warm, it's, like, the perfect temperature, but, um, during the summer, and, um, the parts of the seasons that I was talking about, it gets, like, so hot up there, and it's just not good at all, so she has to come down here, to the dining room where it's much cooler. Um, question number nine. What are the pros and cons of owning hamsters? Well, we'll start with cons. Um, they're very time consuming. They can get pretty hyper. They escape easily. And um, you could have like allergies to them, I guess. And the bedding is kind of expensive, but they're not terribly expensive. Um, the pros would definitely be they're adorable. Like, to most people, I think. <laughs> I think they are, definitely. Um, they're really fun. They usually love human interaction. They're really fun to watch, also. I really think, of course, since I have a hamster, that the pros um, overpower the cons. But that's just my personal opinion. And the last question, question number 10. What are your hamster's nicknames? Okay, guys, this is really crazy, but... I don't think I've ever called Coconut Coconut. I'm like, hi, Coconut. I never do that. I usually call her Coco or Koki, but I, like, call her these random things. Like, I'll be like, hi, Porcupine, or I'll be like, hi, Blueberry. And so she probably is, like, totally confused as to what her name is because I just call her the randomest things. Like, I'll just go up, hi, Coca-Cola, or whatever. Usually it has something to do with her name, like Carrot Cake because her name starts with a C. But, oh, Coconut. <laughs> Sometimes it will just be random things like pine tree. I don't even know. It just, so she's probably totally confused, but her name is really Coconut, but her nicknames are just totally wild. Like, I have called her so many random things. So that is it for the hamster tag. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys do this tag, and again, all the questions are down in the description below. I'll talk to you guys all soon. Bye!